Be on. Hmm? See you later. Yeah. See you soon. Excuse me. What is it? Which way is it to the Sunflower Grove? Oh, what do we have here? Are you and Shenhua on a date? Well... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again. <laughs> the Sunflower Grove is up on the hill. Thanks. I'm pretty busy. Be busy later. Come on, play hide and seek with us. There's someone else I have to find right now. Play hide and seek, and we'll tell you anything you want. Can you tell me, have you seen any thugs around here? What do you mean? Have you seen anyone you don't know? Oh yeah, a bald guy with a big spider drawn on his head. Really? I'll tell you more if you play with us. Deal. There you are. Ah, you found me. Where are the others? I can't tell you that. That's cheating. Fair enough. Sorry. There you are. <laughs> you found me. Where are the others? Nice try. You'll have to find them yourself. Oh, right. Sorry. There you are. Darn, you found me. Only one left. Found you. Oh man, you found me. Now tell me about the thugs like you promised. I saw two strangers. They both went into this house. What they look like? One had a real smooth head with a spider drawn on it. Must be the same ones that hit Joe and Wong's houses. Go join the others, quickly. Okay, bye. What the hell were they doing? I might be able to find out more about the thugs here. What's this? Some sort of name list? 
one of the thugs must have dropped it. This could be a clue. I should show the villagers what I found. They might be able to tell me more. Shenhua, someone ransacked Mr. Shu's house. Sure, the stonemason? Yeah. He worked with my father. I have only ever heard good things about him. Is that so? So what happened? Is he okay? Nobody's seen him since. Oh my gosh, they took him too. But I found this. This is father, and sure. And this as well. Father's name. And sure, and Joe are on here. Everyone on here is a stonemason. Interesting. Those thugs must have been behind the attack. Really? Some kids in the village saw the thugs enter Shu's house. So if they went after him, then this... Belonged to the thugs. They must have dropped it. They've crossed off some of the names. Yeah. The thugs must be crossing off the names of the stonemasons they've attacked. What? Then, they got to my father. We don't know that for sure. He could be in hiding. I'll go and talk to the other stonemasons. Okay. What are they after, anyway? Mr. Joe. Hmm? I need your help with something. Do you know what this is? Not really. All these people are stonemasons. I found it at Mr. Schur's house. And why do you have it? Mr. Schur's house was ransacked. Seriously? And what of Schur? I didn't see him anywhere. First you're in, now Schur. Hmm. Yes? There's a red line over Yuren and Shur's names. My name's also highlighted. And the names that aren't on the line? Stonemasons that haven't been attacked. Ka's name is next. He's in danger. Do you know where Mr. Ka lives? The Panda Market. I'll go check it out. Ah, so it's you. Sorry? You're the Japanese boy everyone in the village is talking about, right? Yeah. Would you like to have a look at my shop? Sure. As you can see, I operate a pawn shop. I do sales and exchanges. Exchanges? Indeed. Gather a set of items together and bring them to me. You can then trade them in for a skill book. Is that so? Yes, you look rather tough. May I presume you are interested in skill books? You could say that, yeah. Then by all means, trade with me. It will be far cheaper than buying elsewhere. That's good to know. Come see me whenever you get a set together. Okay, I will. Do you have a moment? Sure. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. Oh, he's not around. Ka usually isn't back until after seven. I see. Excuse me. Is there a stonemason named Mr. Ka here? Why do you ask? I heard that some thugs came through town and caused a lot of damage recently. Thugs, you say? Yes. There were two. One had a spider tattooed on his head. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they came by. They were screaming, where's the phoenix mirror? As they searched my house. As you can see. There's a clue. You're sure they said phoenix mirror? Yep. I'm looking for stonemasons. Do you know any others? 
Why are you looking for them? It seems those thugs are targeting the village's stonemasons. Well, there's a young guy named Yen Xin down in the Rainbow Basin. I hope they haven't gotten to him. The Rainbow Basin. Got it. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I spoke with Ka Jun Hao, the stonemason. He says the thugs attacked him too. Oh no. He's fine. Don't worry. <sighs> That's a relief. Yes. He said that his house got wrecked though. Why would they do that? Because they were after the Phoenix Mirror. Really? So what do we do now? I heard a stonemason by the name of Yan Xing lives in the Rainbow Basin. Oh no, Yan Xing. You know him? Yes. He trained under my father. We've hosted him at the house several times. That's good to know. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow then. Okay. I've noticed there aren't many men in Bailu. Oh? There are a lot of kids and elderly people, but nobody in between. That's because the men are in the city. All day, every day? Yes. Around this time each year, they leave their families behind to go work in the city. Huh? That must be tough. It is. Some of them never come back. Really? I've heard stories about men who get used to city life and decide they'd rather just stay. Wow. Is it true? Is what true? Is the city really that nice? Well, it's definitely more convenient than Bailu. So... You prefer the city? It's not an either-or situation. Why not? Home is wherever my family, friends, and loved ones are. So people matter most to you? Yeah. I said! Leave me alone! I told you! My son isn't here! Just move already! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> you must be the thugs that wrecked Shu's house. Now tell us who you are! Not until you tell me why you're tearing this village apart. That's none of your damn business. Hey. Let's mess this kid up. <sighs> Who are you people? Why are you causing trouble here? Look, I can explain. Hell, you're just a little punk kid. You got a death wish, don't you, kid? I'll finish you off at 30 seconds flat. did that. Are you all right? Yes. Uh, I'm fine. Who are you? I came to talk to Yan Xing. You did? 
I'm sorry, but he's not here. Not here? Was he kidnapped? Kidnapped? Goodness, no. He's over in Hermit's Nest. Way out there? That's where he fled once he heard they were coming after stonemasons. At least he got away safely. Is something going on? Yuan has disappeared. He has? Oh, oh no. Yanjin is his apprentice. Or was, anyway. Yuan's disappeared. Those thugs are after my boy. What is going on here? I'll be sure to tell you, if I learn anything new. I'd be forever grateful. I hope you find something. Excuse me. Um... Hello? This is weird. It feels like someone's there. Yan Xing. Who's there? My name is Hazuki. I'm a friend of Mr. Yan's daughter, Shenhua. Shenhua? I'd like to talk to you. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. As long as I stay inside and lay low, I'll be safe. I understand. All right. I'm going home then. I'll go back to Shenhua's and fill her in on the situation. Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? I went to the hermit's nest and talked to Yan Xing. Oh, good. That means he's still safe. And what of my father? I didn't get that far. I'm sorry. What? Why not? Yan Xing wouldn't even open the door for me. He's pretty terrified. That's terrible. We haven't found a single clue about your father. True. I can't even find those thugs. They all. We've got nothing. What the hell do we do now? Calm down, Liu. Anger won't get us anywhere. But... Clear your mind. Huh? This is what my father would say. When you're stuck, throw out everything you think you know, and approach things from a different angle. Is that what he would do? It sure is. And you clearly feel pretty stuck. You can say that again. I'm going to go see Yan Xing again. Maybe this time I can get him to calm down and talk to me for a minute. Okay.